many years, my generation of poker players talked about Mos and Tarania like, why hasn't he won anything yet? He's such a nice guy. I'd like him to win just once. Mos and Tarania out in sixth place. All of that changed in the spring of 2012 when he won the EPT Grand Final in Monaco. And finding him at another major final table just months later came as a surprise to nobody familiar with the quality of his play. I'm Tony Dunst. Let's break him down. Let's check out a telling hand from the previous episode. Mosin and Theo are second and third respectively at this final table. Theo opens the hand with a standard button raise holding queen 10. 52. And Mosin makes the call from the big line with a dominating ace 10. If the effective stacks were much shorter, you'd potentially see Mosin move all in. But with stacks of this depth, most players prefer to call. The flop comes 938 rainbow. While Mosin's check is pretty natural, some may be surprised that Theo elected to check behind. It's one of those spots where either checking or betting can work well, depending on your intention for future streets. If Theo thinks Mosin is likely to get stubborn or has a liability to check raise the flop, then checking behind is a perfectly viable option. When the turn brings a seven that adds a flush draw to the board, Mosin leads out and Theo makes the call with his straight draw. The river completes the backdoor flush draw and pairs the board with the eight of clubs. Mosin checks and Theo makes a bet of 120,000. 120. About exactly half pot. You'll notice that it didn't really take Mosin very long to make the call with just ace high. Why is that? It's because Theo's line represents very few credible hands that would bet this river for value. Mosin knows that if Theo had an overpair, he'd bet this flop. He knows that Theo could have an eight with a hand like 10-8, but that it's simply improbable. Mosin also anticipates that Theo would bet if he had a coordinated hand that contained a backdoor flush draw, so he discounts the likelihood of running into a flush here. On top of eliminating many potential value betting hands from Theo's range, Mosin is getting exactly three to one on this call meaning he only needs to be good 25% of the time to make it profitable. And you got it. It makes you wonder whether Theo would have gotten away with it if he had fired 200,000 into the pot. We'll never know, but Mosin probably would.